the blonde guy looks really friendly. I'll just talk to him. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> I like the visa sound. Wow, this is so hot. It's a super bronze skin hung. Let me take a look. He has a full package. But I better don't get too close anymore. He will be found that I'm picking. Okay, take up the courage to talk to him. Hi guys, I'm Desmond. Welcome to my channel. Today we'll be playing a final demo version game called Dead Dating. This is a adult version of a LGBTQ plus game. Um, before I start, please, please subscribe my channel. So let us explore this game before uh, it will be uh, sellable in uh, Steam. Do you want to use the, the Eye of Truth to pay, play the game? The Eye of Truth is a command that forces important clues to appear. Using the Eye of Truth will make the game much less difficult and enjoyable. You can turn it off or on at any time in the game setting. I want to explore the clues myself to get the full fun of the game. I want to use the Eye of Truth for a super easy gameplay. Uh... <laughs> okay, I think, I, I think for this demo version, I try to use the, the Eye of Truth first. Do you want to use manual mode or automatic mode for your game conversations? Manual mode. My head hurts. It hurts so much that it's going to explode. Okay. Where am I? And why am I lying here? Oh my god, my head is about to explode and I want to throw up. Mm. Why, is my, why is my mind blank? I can't remember anything. I feel like I have a bad hangover and my memory is fractured. Let me get up first. The, I am in jail? How did I get here? Why do I remember anything? In that room across the wall, is there someone in there? Hey mate, can you hear me? Hello? No, the guy in there is ignoring me. It's not a dummy or a corpse, is it? The visibility inside is really poor. It's too hard to see what's going on. Maybe I should try to open it. Let me try. I will just... Check around and see if there is anything in the room. Click on suspicious areas of the screen to search for items and crews. Okay, got it. Okay. It looks like blood stain writing on the wash bar. Once you open the door, can you resist it? It's hell or heaven. You name it. It's so weird. Should I tear up the note? Okay. Yes? There is a green button on the doorknob. Should I press it? Yes. Oh my god! Oh my goodness, is this some kind like gay cow or anything? Get in. This, this is too crazy. Okay, get in. Alright, I need to clarify my head first. Let's take a closer look at everything from the beginning. The start from the first day. Okay. Day 1. Oh, so this is how the story starts. Oh my goodness, this. Very over. Okay, so my name is... I like, I would call myself Kimono, as usual, okay? Skin. Mm, okay, I prefer myself as Tan Skin. Okay, this hair will do. White. Mm. Oh, this. 
okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Not be able to choose my shirt, shirt color or shirt style. Finish then. It's my day off starting today. I can finally get out of here. It's a relief from the stress of a demanding job. Being an investment manager at a bank is really hard work. This job is not only physically exhausting, it's mentally draining. Lately, because of that annoying thing, I have been so paranoid all day. I can't even sleep well and my memory has deteriorated a lot. Annoying thing, what is that? As a result, I started to forget things and even more ridiculously, I couldn't remember many of the clients I met. But I have to see a lot of people every week because of work, so it's inevitable to forget people. <laughs> but none of that matters now because I'm on vacation. I'm going to use my vacation to relax and enjoy myself. Maybe I can travel abroad or go somewhere far away? It would be nice to have an exotic love story. <laughs> I look very, very stupid in my face. Because of the busy work schedule, the days fly by so quickly, I think it's time to find a man to nourish my pash soul. And more importantly, heal my pash body. <laughs> but I don't have any idea what I'm going to do for a while. Maybe seeing if there's anything interesting in my room will give me some idea. Okay, collect information in my room. <clears throat> Chapter 1 Set out on a journey. Okay, so what is this? My yoga conversation with yourself. Although this book has always been on my desk, I have never read it before. Talk to myself. Can you teach people how to write a book? Okay, what is this? Ooh. I've had enough of your. Naivety. I will make you feel the cruelty of the world. And finally, I will wipe you out of the world. Oh my god. I saw something I hate. It's been almost four months since I received this threatening letter. Ever since I got this letter, I have been paranoid. I always feel someone is watching me. Even when I'm alone, I can't feel safe. I couldn't do my job well at my work and my performance plummeted. So I was forced to take a long vacation. But uh, if only this vacation would give me a chance to relax and get back on my feet, there's not such a bad thing. Wow, so I've always been stalked or always been observed? So creepy. I don't want to use the phone at the moment, okay. My switch is bad, but it has not visited a long time. Made in Taiwan is a guarantee OS quality. <laughs> quality. <laughs> what the hell? Oh! Oh, they secret. Do you want to pick up? Yes. Do you want to pick up? Okay, fine. These, why so many things? Do you want to pick up? Yes. Do you want to pick up? Yes. <laughs> what is? Oh, oh, that item. I, my God. What is this? Is it a drug or anything? Okay. Oh, so this is the. Okay. No more. I think I've taken all thing. Move. I love buy books and thinking one day I will read them, but today is not that day. I did not take this picture, they are attachment when I bought them. Maybe I should take more pictures to replace them. I thought it was because of this poster that I decided to move to this city, but I was still single. What went wrong? Wait, let me go to that side first. Wow, the clock is broken. Five minute fitness meal nutrition recipe guide. I really like to buy any book, huh? Isn't this the card I bought before? I use it as a bookmark. Okay, book again. 
I've been listening to this song since I started to training three years ago, and it has given me a lot of motivation every time I exercise. Gloria Gaynor, what is this? It's it's been almost three years since I moved here. I don't know why I feel my mental health is getting worse. Especially since I received the threatening letter, I've always felt like someone was watching me. I can't concentrate on my work, so I want to take this vacation to get back on my feet. Ooh, <coughs> ooh, what the hell? What was that? Um, nothing. Is it an illusion? God, is this how haunted? I've been in such a bad taste. I've been so forgetful lately. Now I'm hallucinating. <clears throat> I think I'm being hallucinated. It really, it seems that I really need to relax a bit. Fortunately, it's vacation now. I'll post a flyer on the wall for each event I attend. This uh, why there is a blood stain. This was a. Gay camping trip two years ago, it was a lot of fun. But I don't remember how I got home after the event. I was so high. However, this poster is so dirty. Is, is that blood? Okay. This must be a trailer, gay trailer story. Gay police night. How can I don't remember going to this event? But there are so many things that I don't remember. So forget it. Okay, let's go out. <sighs> Don't want to go out yet? Then what should I do now? Nothing stand out. Wow! Excuse me? Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. What is this? Yes. How about this? How come I didn't remember that I have bought this coffer? Huh? I can't guess the password without knowing it. I give up. Why is there an unknown sustainable in my room? Okay, th there is something here. Why is there a cell phone there? Did I find it and put it here? Let me try to unlock it. How to unlock it? Sure cannot, right? I can't guess the password without knowing it. I give up. Okay. Oh! Rex! Green magic. Do you want to pick up? Yes. You want to pick up? Yes. Okay. There's nothing interesting on my bed. Just looking around. I'm thinking of looking for something interesting in the room in order to kill some time. I must make full use of rare holidays from the first day. It's too early to sleep anyway. I really love sleeping, but with the weather being so nice, it would be a waste of time. Yes, you're right. First, I'm gonna have a nap, and later in the evening, I will take a stroll. Ah, so relaxing. By the way, I've been working. It's dangerous to do things without a... Uh, just not what they miss. By the way, I've been working hard for a year. I don't know what to do now that I'm suddenly on vacation. It's dangerous to do things without a plan because time can pass by so carelessly. Okay. I'm already 30 years old and my busy life makes me feel like I'm not really there. The days go by in a flash but when I think about my life, but it's as if someone has stolen it. No boyfriend, no kids, no pets. I don't travel much and I don't have many photos to open my phone album. I wish something exciting would happen. My eyelids are getting heavy and heavier, so take a nap.
Okay. Don't be discouraged, Kimono. Who are you? I'm watching you all the time. Don't be frustrated just because you are confused at the moment. Try to be well prepared and everything will be good. Are you the god of destiny? Please help me to find love, god of destiny. An ordinary relationship is enough for you? No worries. I have arranged everything. Choose carefully when your time has come. Also look at things and clues around you through your heart. How to harvest your future adventures depends solely on your choice. I don't understand at all, God of Destiny. Can't you simply send me a handsome guy? <laughs> oh my god, you're so lazy. Listen, Destiny has already knocked on your door. Mm hmm? Seriously? What? I heard it. Stop ringing. I can't even scream. I had a stranger's dream and was woken up by the doorbell. Let's see who rang the door. Bell. Hey, how are you? I'm great. Thank you. Are you hung? Please sign here for the registered letter. I'm Kimono. I'm not hung. Oh, thank you. Okay, sign here, kimono. Okay, that's it. Bye. Okay, bye. Awesome, bye. Let's see what the sender is. Thomas? I haven't received a letter from this guy in all my years of knowing him. Is it a postcard? I'll open it and have a look. When you get a clue, please open the menu to check your clue. Sometimes checking the clues can get props or new clues. Oh, okay. Click the arrow to rotate the thread. Sometimes the clue will be on the back of the item. Okay, got it. Got it. It seems that the letter is here. Let me open it. Got it. There are numbers that I haven't seen. Who is right? Okay. Come and win a handsome guy and bonus. Summer gay dating contest. The winner prize is 100,000. Awesome competition. Oh, got it. Um. Why would Thomas send me this? I should call him and ask. Calling Thomas. Ooh, hot guy. Hey, buddy. What's up? Hey, dude. I got your invitation card. What's going on? Wow, hundred thousand pounds? What kind of event is this? A dating contest? Dude, you really should see a doctor. I seriously think that you have dementia. What? If you mention that event, oh my gosh. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> there's no need to overreact. You know that I often forget about things? Well, since you re register, why don't you go there on your own? No wonder, I just thought why would you be so generous to me. You are Thomas after all, a stingy and selfish guy. Thomas, you are the type of guy who would rather hold on to their resources, even if the world were, was starving from hunger. Suddenly you did something good for me. OMG. Are you done? Anyway, the event is tomorrow, so don't forget that. You have to be at the pier next to Dolphin Bay Station. Tomorrow at 12 noon. Okay, fine. I suppose I must go. That's short notice. Why did you have to wake up to the very last, last minute to give me your ticket? Now I don't have enough time to prepare properly. That's because I'm the most stingy fish guy. I would wait up to the very last minute before giving away my things. <laughs> yeah, you're true. And you're also, 
narrow-minded, how to say? That's just typical of you. Yeah, that's typical of me. Huh? Alright, enjoy. If you happen to win a big prize, you have to share it with me. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Okay, I'll give you a thought, no matter how selfish your motive may be, nevertheless, I'm grateful. Of course, you're my pal. Well, enjoy it, bye. Okay, bye. Tomorrow at 12 noon at Dolphin Bay Station. I have to get ready and pack my bag. Afterwards, I'm gonna go to bed, and tomorrow I'm going to the event. I'm so excited. Ha ha ha. Hmm. Then why did I wake up in the middle of the night? Strange, why can't I move? <clears throat> Someone has opened my door. Is is who is it? Damn it, I can't even make a sound. Oh my god. You! Who are you? I can't make a damn sound. I can't move. Is this a a ghost? Is this person a ghost? How fuck? I'm screaming in my heart like this. No one can hear me. You are the one who threatened to kill me, right? Please don't kill me. Help! <coughs> what do you? What are you doing? Help me, God! Help me! No. Oh yes, God of Destiny. Are you watching me? Please help me. Question mark. <coughs> 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 It's gone, it's gone. Oh. Is it my hallucination? Or is it that it works with my prayer to the God of Destiny? Anyway, thank you, the God of Destiny. Too bad I didn't get a good look at his face. I'm so tired after the shock. I'm sleepy, I'm going back to sleep. Oh, quite a very nice story, eh? Okay, day two. Sipping well, luggage is ready. Let's go to Dolphin Bay. I arrived at the subway station. It's so crowded here. I don't know when my train arrived. I will look for a timetable. Got it! The train to Dolphin Bay arrives in 5 minutes. Okay, calling Thomas. I still have some time. I will, I will ring Thomas and chat with him for a moment. Hey Thomas, how are you? I'm fine. You? Telling what happened last night. It's not good. I think someone snuck into my room right last night. Ocean, this can't be real. Are you sure you weren't dreaming? I don't know. It feels super real. I feel horrible. Haha. <laughs> well, what if? How about you just pretend it was me last night? Listen, you're not scared anymore, are you? You are so flirty, Thomas. Haha, <laughs> this is nonsense. You have no reason to come to my room in the middle of the night. Besides, you don't even have the key to my room. Huh? I have your room key. You left it with me. <laughs> Why I forget everything? Sorry, pal. The doorbell rang. And I have to open the door. Let's chat again later. Okay. Okay, okay, no problem. Let's talk soon. But I'm really happy to see What are you saying? I have always been so cheerful. Blah blah blah. Anyway, I am really happy with your changes. Have fun. Talk later. Oh my god, I think I'm having some kind of mental breakdown or personal disorder. Personality disorder. Is it is it called personality disorder? Bye. Thomas is very busy. I don't know what his new boyfriend looks like. He's lucky in love indeed. I hope my journey will be as lucky as his. If I met someone in the street car, it would be even better. Apparently the street 
car has arrived. My hunt for love is about to begin. I'm so nervous, I don't really know what kind of man I will encounter. I'm getting on the street car too. Yes. I feel like a free bird. Flying to the sea of love to find my blue blood. However, I hope he's a big bird. <laughs> this red car is quite crowded. It will take a while to get there. Okay, see if there is anything interesting here. I will have enough time to chill out when I lie in my grave. I should enjoy every moment from now on. Okay, there are a few guys here. Okay, let's check him out first. <clears throat> An aunt who is reading book is of course not my cup of tea. How about this guy? Elderly person with feet up. I don't mind age, but he's not my type. A handsome guy's mil military uniform is looking intently out of the window. It seems there's no chance to talk to him. Wow, a sexy hot daddy wearing shorts is very sexy. His opposite is empty. So lucky, should I move there to see him carefully? <laughs> should I move there to see him carefully? Yes, of course. Oh, what is this music? Oh, that daddy is so sexy. He's sitting there. It's as if he wanted to say, Hey, look at me carefully. Hmm. Oh, the beard is too long. So long. It's a very hot and muscular daddy, but I think his beard is too long. Since that's the case, you are welcome, daddy. I want to take good care of daddy. He 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 he. The long beard looked dignified, but beneath it lay a strong chest. I wish I could lie on it. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, what else? Matured and wise with ma matured charm. The boat is held so far away. Is he pres presbyobia? Okay, any anything else? Book title, Lock. Mistress, finger block half of the book title. But it should look like mystery related book. Oh! What the hell? Oh! Wow, daddy has a huge package. I wish I had the, the ability to see through now. Okay. Such strong, hairy tights. I want to lie on them. Oh, I was caught picking. How much should I do? Okay, look at his eyes and smile. Okay, we take out our own responsibility because we we did pick. Hi. Are you going to travel? Um, kind of. Sorry for staring at you, that's because... Manners and appearance. Okay. <clears throat> because I think you are really charming, it seems as if I just saw Zeus descending from heaven to read a book on the street car, and I accidentally became obsessed with him. Wow, I'm such a sweet talker. Thanks for your compliment. Introduce myself, maybe. I'm Kimono. May I ask you what's your name? Sure, I am Johnson. Hello. Hello. Book. Ask him about his book. I see that you are reading a book. What book are you reading? It's nothing special. I'm just reading a puzzle book. Okay. Show interest. Wow, that's an interesting book. Are you a detective? Too bad that you're wrong. Just because I'm reading a puzzle book doesn't mean that I'm a detective. Wait, don't say anything. Let me get, guess your profession. 
a handsome face paired with a charming personality, and an Adonis like body that even by wearing loose fitting clothes can't be hidden. Oh my goodness, I'm such a very flirtatious person. Flirty, I'm so flirty. You must be a duke or crown prince. Ha! Ah, you're such a charmer. Unfortunately, you guessed wrong. I'm a university professor. Wow! A university professor who looks like seals. Professor, why didn't I have a fascinating professor like you when I was in school? It feels as if my study were a waste of time. Waste of time? How come? Did you just go to college to meet a sexy professor? Of course not. However, a sexy professor makes students study even harder. Aha! You should tell that my students. <laughs> to you is really fun, but I have to get back to my book. Okay, Daddy. Oh, I won't bother you anymore. Ah, don't be upset. I have a feeling that we will meet again. Yeah, I think so. Johnson, right? Sure, if you say so. Too bad, you just unlock Hot Daddy on the Metro. That daddy doesn't want to chat anymore, but continue reading. Although I'm cute, I obviously can't beat his book. Forget it, I'll chill until I have arrived at my destination. Mm. Question mark. Say goodbye to this boring world. No! Are you going to suicide? Commit suicide? No, Kimono, don't do that. Oh my god. It's finally coming. From the road map, there is only one stop, but I didn't expect it to be quite far. Finally, I didn't expect everyone get off at this stop. Too bad that I didn't have a deep conversation with that sexy daddy. It feels as if I missed a chance. It doesn't really matter, there will be more opportunities at the event. Getting off now. Dolphin Bay. I'm finally here. Oh, look at the beautiful sea and the blue sky. A blue sky, a gorgeous beach, and men in swimming trunks. This is the most beautiful place in the world. I would love to change into my swimming trunk, immediately join those hot guys at the beach, and bump into their half naked bodies. It's just too bad that this beach clashes with my trip. What a pity. I think my character is really a. a. <laughs> slut. <laughs> Um, the meeting point is in front of the Pale Mary, which is docked near Dolphin Bay Station. That's really bad name for boat. If it were up to me, I would name it Burning Josh or so. There's almost no time left before we gather. What should I do? Call Thomas, look around. Go straight to the Pale Mary, uh, look around. When traveling, you should abstain from wasting your time with daydreaming. Drinking too much or sleeping all day long. Let's see if there is anything interesting in this neighborhood. Maybe I will bump into other contestants. It would be even better if there was a warm up party. Let's look around. Okay. A blonde man in swimming trunks stood there. Is it a lifeguard? Wow. Stop shock. There's a shop not far away. I don't know if there are any interesting products. Find a cool. Um, there's a guy wearing swimming trunks over there, and there's a shop a little further on. I should strike up a conversation or go to that shop. <clears throat> okay, go talk to the blondie guy. First, let's go. The blondie guy looks the blonde. The blonde guy looks really friendly. I'll just talk to him. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> I like the visa sound. Wow, this is so hot. It's a super bronze skin hung. Let me take a look. He has a full package. 
but I better don't get too close anymore. He will be found that I'm picking. Okay, take up the courage to talk to him. Hello, how are you? I'm good. You? Blondiga Hung. I'm good too. Are you a lifeguard on this beach? I'm not. I'm just spending my free time sandpaping. Ask him about the beach, compliment his appearance of course. Because I'm a sweet talker. You are really smart. Oh, you know how to make the most of your free time. That's why you have such as such a beautiful skin tone. Oh, do you really mean that? Do you find my skin tone attractive? Very attractive. Some people who get tan just don't look good. However, your skin looks really healthy, which makes you look very attractive. Oh? oh? Mm. What's going on? Are you suddenly lost in thought? What do you do for a living? I'm a bank manager. I'm a bank manager but currently on vacation. Oh. Why did you come to this beach? It seems that you're going on a tree. Hold on, am I the only one who say this? Say that this profession is unfair? What is your profession anyway? Me? Hmm. I'm an amateur rugby player as well as a fitness model at present. Oh, no wonder you're so. you have such a f fine body. No wonder you care so much about your skin tone. Also, it's no wonder that you have to maintain your beautiful body as you need to be in good shape for your profession. Yep, it is true. My job requires a good physical appearance. So what brings you here? I'm here to participate in an event, but as I still have some time until the ship departs, so I'm wandering around. Oh, is it the summer gate dating contest? Yes, yes, how do you know? Are you... Huh. Yeah, I'm also participating in... Wow, I can't wait today with you. Wow, are all the contestants as tall as you? Now if that's the case, I'm not confident enough to take part in the contest. Don't say that. Physical appearance is not that important. You have your own strong points, so don't lose confidence in yourself. Okay, I hope I hope he will reply me in a way that he say, No, you are also very hot, you are also very gorgeous. You also have great body. <laughs> you don't know me yet, so how can you tell what my strengths are? Aren't you a bank manager? It is not common to be elevated into a managerial job at such a young age, which proves that you're quite capable. I'm 30 years old, so am I considered young? I'm a hard worker, ha ha ha. However, I have been extremely busy with work, so that I haven't had time for a boyfriend. That doesn't mean anything. I don't have a boyfriend either. Hmm, good to hear that. How come you're really hot? Of course, come on. Of course I do, besides you're only wearing swimming trunks and when looking at the vague outline of your... Oh, I just can't control myself anymore. Would you like to see more of it? Or even... Oh my god! <laughs> Are you welcoming me? Can I? Sure. Not now, but don't you worry. We're all taking part in the event, right? Let's see how things go first. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Don't be upset. It's almost time. I should change my clothes. See you later, mate. Let's take care of each other in the game. No problem. See you in a bit. Eh, did I ask his name? It seems that my first pitch went smoothly, which makes me really happy. I'm wondering if all the contestants are as gorgeous as him. I'm gonna be surrounded by a lot of hot guys during my vacation. This thought is too sinful. It's almost time. I better head to the meeting point. Oh, I didn't go to the... I didn't go to the... I better go to the meeting point. Ah, but... Oh yes, it should be that boat. Let's see where the boat is stopped at. There's only that boat at the pier, so I won't take the wrong boat. There's no time to lose. Let's go! <clears throat> Finally, the ship is stuck here. Someone is coming. Wow, what a queen. Oh, hello there. Hi, queen. Hey. Are you also participating in the summer gay dating contest? <clears throat> yes, I am. Am I too early? 
too bad that you weren't the first one to arrive here. Then please, wait for the other contestants to arrive. Sure, no problem. This contestant is wearing almost the same costume as Thomas when he was participating in the gay parade. That contestant seems a good person. Now I'm looking forward to the con con contest even more. I'm gonna meet the other contestants soon. So excited. I wait on this side waiting. It's a prize for meeting a hot guy. Ha ha ha. Mm. Yes, girl. My dear contestants, you have been waiting for this moment for so long. You're about to take a boat through our competition venue, the Night Dream Island. Wow. Ah. Before leaving for the venue, <laughs> what's the allow moon? Me to introduce yourselves to each other. First of all, I'd like to introduce Carl to you guys. Carl is a sexy amateur rugby player. Oh, he's Carl. Level. Carl, please say hello to Hi, everyone. Carl. Hey guys, I am very happy to participate in this competition. I want to win this big prize and hope everyone can support. Mm. Awesome. It seems that someone is winning the prize. Well, then you need to work hard. Mm. Let's hope everyone votes for you. Mm. Now, I'd like to introduce you to our next contestant. Wow. Who is an active boxer. Mm. Cow is, is the tallest. Please say hello to everyone. Alexander. Hello everyone, you can call me Alex. Well, I am not a good speaker, so people often think that it is difficult to get along with me. I hope I can use this opportunity to improve my speaking skill. So, please help me. Sure, no problem, Alexander. Mm, that's really cute. He's a young muscle stud. Yeah, he is. I am not a contestant. Mm. I'd really Stop like to mourning! Him. Actually, mm. I want to eat him up to the <laughs> Please don't. Okay. Yeah, you absolutely not my time. Wow, so straightforward. And this queen is so funny. It seems that you are <laughs> really not good at speaking. You need to work harder if you want to come far in this competition. Next, let me introduce you to the fierce police officer, Frank. Frank. Wow. He's tall and handsome physique. <sighs> Sister, <laughs> can't stand it anymore. <laughs> Hi, Hi Frank. I am a quite serious. Oh my person, God, Cow and Frank. I will try my best and, to get rid uh, of this What was this guy named again, Alexander? I hope I can use this competition to find a partner rather than winning the prize money. Please don't be afraid of talking to me just because of my job. Sure, Frank. Wow, now it's just like Love Island. Ah. Sister, I'm not gonna shy away from you just because you're a police officer. Ah. You must have a thick baton. Everyone <laughs> should be careful of this weapon. <laughs> The next person I'd like to introduce to you is Don Johnson. Wow. Who is the sexiest professor in the academic world? His mature charm and wise mind makes it even harder to believe that he's got such a strong body. Ah. Who, Who needs, needs a, a mommy, mommy when you have a daddy like him? Really, he he really does look like Zeus. Is that sexy professor? No wonder he said he had a hunch that we would meet again. Did he know that I was also a contestant? Hello, everyone. This is indeed a very interesting event. I hope I can get some inspiration for my book. In the way he moved very weird. The last contestant I want to introduce to you is... What? He's a very talented and confident new fashion designer. Please tell us more about yourself. Thomas? Um, Thomas is my friend. My name is Kimono. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Oh, so uh, I replaced Thomas. I'm taking part in this com competition instead of him. Oh, I see. It doesn't matter. Thomas is fine. So are you. As long as you get on the boat, everything is good. These are all our contestants. That's all? And you're very welcome to take part in the contest too. Okay. I hope to I hope to have more guys actually. Boat. Do you really think that there are only five contestants this time? If you really think we are such a small family, sister, I will get angry and cry. On today's ship, there's only the first group of players. Tomorrow, oh. there will be a second group consisting of four other players to wow. join up. There will be a nine players in total. The eight day summer dating competition starts tonight. Okay, cool. Eight days straight. Alright, I talk too much. And I'm thirsty now. Let's get on the boat, folks. Okay. Alright, is everyone on board? I'll count the passengers then. There's that sexy police officer. Ah. That sexy professor. Yeah. That sexy kickboxer. Ah. That sexy rugby player. Ah. And there's you. Everybody is here. Why didn't call me sexy? 
Why didn't you say aha after calling my name? I'm so sorry, cutie. I don't know why. My wild nature makes me feel a little <laughs> bit scared of you. Just a little bit scared. Why I'm such a sweetheart? How come I'm such a sweet, cute and gentle guy after all? And have good manners too? Yeah, why is that? Oh, it's not important. Contestant, please have a seat. Our summer love boat Hail Mary is about to leave the dock. Okay. If you get seasick, please do not vomit on my boat. If you do accidentally throw up, your punishment will be cleaning up the floor by naked. Okay. <laughs> my dear cute and handsome fellow, let's set off for the island of love. Let's go. Sure, yeah! Dear sexy contestant, welcome on board of the Pale Mary. The estimated journey time will be about 30 minutes. Thank you for your patience. Okay. Host, what is your name? Oh, sister is so careless. Spear. I completely forgot to introduce myself. My name is Spear. Yes. Like, like Britney, Britney Spears. Spears. But without the S. Okay. Excuse me. What is the scope of today's event? There are only a few activities today. When we arrive at the venue, we're going to allocate rooms to you first. Then you'll have some free time to check out the venue. The first networking activity starts tonight at dinner time. Okay. So how many people are on the island today? All of us, sir. Just us. Hmm. There are only a few people, so the event team consists only of you. Why do I get the feeling that this is a scam group? <laughs> That's rude. There's another He's so person. honest. However, he won't be here until tomorrow, together with the other contestants. You don't have to worry, as this is the first event of its kind. The organizer spent the money widely. How else would there be a prize of £100,000? I think the number of staff doesn't really matter. As long as there's a bed, as well as delicious food, everything is fine. Really? You're absolutely right. You become my favorite player immediately like a rising star. I think we will become a good couple, oh no. Thanks for your appreciation. Would you want us to yeah, you are not the contestant. So, your relationship does not meet this mission. I think our development better left to the author of the event. Ouch. Why are you talking like an agent? Sister Spears can smell a dangerous breath. Ah. Well, if you have more questions, we will talk about them when we've arrived at the meeting place. Let your sister Spear focus on driving. Please chat with each other. Great, a chance to make friends with handsome guys. But these guys are so cold. Why don't they talk to each other? It doesn't matter, I will just pick one and talk to him. Okay, so I think... Guys, I think that's it. So uh, this will be my part one for this uh, that dating game. So, so far I find it quite interesting and then the drawing is nice. The guys are hot, are really hot. And then a little bit of like trailer and horror uh, i can't wait to play more so guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you bye